And for this cook, I have my boneless, skinless, or boneless, skinless, my boneless ribeye right out of the freezer, thawed out. No binder on it. I'm going to put my, it's incredible. I'm going to put it on pretty thick because this is a big piece of meat that can take the seasoning. And what we're going to do is leave this sit in the refrigerator while I go get the caveman sear box warmed up. So, back in a little bit. Okay, I have my boneless ribeye steak. We're going to put this in the, uh, the sear box and see how it turns out. All right, there it is. This one is going all the way up to the top. I want to get that sear on it as quick as I can. Then we'll, if I need to, I'll put that a little bit lower in here again and let this one bake too. All right, folks, this has been a minute and a half. And you can see that's got a real good, real good sizzle going on. I keep bumping the camera here. I'm going to give this one a flip if I can, this way, and turn it 180 on the platter, the cooking platter, put it back in for another minute and a half or so. This is on the very top shelf on the high setting. Yeah, you can kind of see what's going on. I can't get the camera any closer, but because it is hot out here. But it's been about a minute and a half on that second side. I think it's time to lower it. All right. That's another minute and a half, folks. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the middle shelf here. Let it bake in there for a little bit till we get the internal temperature up to what I want, which is about 129, I believe, maybe 130. So back in a bit. Here's another quick tip. While I was doing the burn off of the uh, manufacturing whatever yesterday, my cabinet here, I have since put this block on here, it was getting real hot and this is wood. That was getting pretty warm just from the open door. So if you have it on a combustible surface, please use something that will not burn up, like blocks. Okay folks, this did not take very long, another few minutes. I just turned this over maybe uh, about a minute ago to get the other side. Just checked the temperature and we're at 134, so that's plenty done for me. So let's get this inside and let it rest, and then we'll take a taste. Okay, folks, here's my ribeye steak cooked on the caveman grill, seared, and then I lowered it to do the baking portion of it to get it the internal temperature where I want. I like that. This is more rare medium instead of medium rare. But that's the way I like it. If you like yours more well done, leave it in longer. If you don't like it as done, take it out sooner. Look at a nice piece here. How's that look? Juicy. Rare. Good char, good flavor. It's incredible, it's great on it. I'm gonna say this cooked the way I like it. Oh yeah. Gonna be eating good tonight. Thanks folks, catch you next time.